everybody, this is Praxis, and we're running the wood stove for the first time for this season. Uh, this was in all last winter, and most of the chimney pipe that's up above us here was all present for that. Uh, but this cylinder stove, and I think a couple of the pieces of these, uh, these double wall uh, pipes here, they're new for this season, and whenever you put in new pipe, or you're, you're starting uh, you know, with all new pipe, certainly, uh, when you run the first fire, you have to understand that a lot of the stuff is going to kind of burn off. There's oils on here, there's paints on here, and it kind of smokes off. So you have to make sure that you can open your windows when you run it for the first time. And that's what we're doing today. We've got one window open over there to supply some air and everything goes up and there's a window open up on the top floor to kind of flush everything through. You can see, get a really good sense of how much smoke is happening here when I open up the oven. <laughs> there's an awful lot of smoke uh, burning off of this thing. Um, but you know, that's just a normal part of the process. This will go for, I don't know, like half hour or something like that. And then it'll, everything is going to burn will have burned and then it'll start uh, going kind of cleanly. Uh, I know a lot of you guys were excited about this cylinder stove and I want to give you kind of a sense of how it's running right now. Uh, the stove, I've got it running pretty hot to try to burn everything off. Uh, we're at about, I've got three thermometers here and I get kind of like a consensus between all of them. Uh, I think we're somewhere in the 500, 550 range, somewhere in here. One's reading 600, one's reading 550, and one's reading 400. Of course, uh, they are, uh, you know, they do uh, get progressively cooler as you go up, but they always kind of tend to read different temperatures anyway. So uh, we're running it pretty hot. 600 is about as hot as you want to get it before you start cutting the air to it. Uh, and it's been going for a while, and the uh, oven is reading 450 degrees on the inside. So that's, that's pretty encouraging, that if I run the stove hot, I can cook things at like four, 450. That's a, that's, a good, that's a good bread temperature, 450 degrees. You could even go a little bit hotter for bread. But by uh, dialing back the heat uh, to the stove, um, you know, getting the flue gas a little bit cooler, uh, you know, I, I should be able to regulate this down a little bit more or even like kind of keep the, uh, the door open a little bit. You know, I could kind of regulate it that way and kind of figure it out. But I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited about it because this is, uh, it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's heating up. We still have really good uh, draft going up. It wasn't a big deal starting the fire because the uh, air has to... I uh, go up and around here and everything. I still had good draft. It was easy to get it going. So, so far, so good. Uh, I'll let you know how uh, things work with this. I have some bread that I've been rising uh, all day today in our hot room over there. It's some of the bread that I make from my sourdough starter. Um, I think that's going to be the first thing that we bake in here, and I'm pretty excited about it. So far, so good on the cylinder stove. But I'll be giving you updates the more that I learn about it, find out if there's upsides and downsides. I'll be sharing all that with you guys. That's it. Thanks for watching.